It's a guitar, it's a 1981 Gibson Les Paul. The reason that that particular guitar means a lot to me is I've learned a lot from that guitar. I was saving up a little at a time, and I'd go out and mow somebody's grass and get a little bit of money and go wash the neighbor's car and get a little bit of money. You remember I'm 13, 14 years old, or I'd go move some stuff for somebody and make a little bit more money, and eventually I was able to buy the guitar. When I look at that guitar, I see a cool guitar, but I see a life lesson, and I see uh, so much of, of what I do today reflected back in that guitar. I mean, that guitar is so cool to me. I mean, it's, like I said, it's a cool guitar. I think it's a cool guitar on its own, but uh, there's something special about it. Sort of like uh, when somebody grows their own tomato and they eat that tomato, it tastes way better than one you buy at a store. That's the way I feel about this guitar I worked so hard for. About 18 or 19 years ago, started thinking about retirement. This was a time I was looking forward to doing some of the things that I wanted, things that took a lot of time, a lot of patience, um, but you could really see the results. It's a lot of hard work. It takes a lot of patience and a lot of time and energy, but I enjoy it so much. I like to take a lot of pictures so that I can document the growth and the changes that are coming about. I'm just so glad that I've had all this time to be able to spend with John and Abby. And hopefully someday they'll be glad I spent it with them too. There's something really exciting about outsmarting a fish. To me, it's not just putting a, a worm or a minnow on a hook and throwing it out there and waiting for them to eat it. It's enticing the fish. But there always seems to be something a little more special about it. When I catch something that I've carved out of a chunk of cypress, I don't care if it's that long or that long or that long. It's very exciting to catch a fish. I once caught a fish that was so big and so old, I felt guilty about it. Life's too short for bad food. True statement. Food is art. You know, that's, that's been one of my passions of admiring a lot of chefs. But two, I can go back to my roots. I am confident that I am a, a great chef. It's, it's because, you know, my personality speaks in my food. I am not trying to be the, the classical culinary teacher, or I'm not trying to be Bob from down the street or Sarah. I'm trying to be Nick Wallace. 